Hello and welcome. You're going to discover how to quickly and easily sell your products and services on JVZoo. So congratulations on grabbing access to this video course. Instead of taking days or weeks, banging your head on the wall, trying to figure things out like we did, you're going to be able to expedite the process as long as you follow me step by step. So make sure that you follow the process from videos one through nine. Don't skip around because the way we created this video course was so that it would break down in your brain how to do things in a simplified way. If you skip around and you skip videos one and two, for example, and you go straight to trying to utilize JVZoo, things can get confusing. So this is video number one, which is the introduction. Now, there are many different shopping cart platforms out there. We just happen to like JVZoo. We've tested many shopping carts over the years, and honestly, we've came back to JVZoo. There's nothing wrong with the other shopping carts out there as well, but really what it comes down to is choosing something that will fit you. And we feel like JVZoo definitely provides enough features and options for you to go different routes. But I really want you to focus on the simplicity. Just getting your product services up and running and selling is the first thing. Don't worry about other things like coupons or anything like that. Just focus at setting up the basic front end offer and one time offers. So as far as mindset goes, you'll realize as we go through here that there are a lot of moving pieces. So I want you to keep an open mind here. The best way to implement is to assume that you know nothing about the topic at hand and just apply as you go. This is a method that I personally apply and use every time I listen to a video course because a lot of times I feel like a lot of times from what we see is that having those pre-created assumptions actually create the roadblocks. So that is one of the reasons for Roblox is those pre-created assumptions. So I want you to remove those pre-created assumptions, remove them now before you get started. All right, so quick overview and let's jump right in. This is video number one. Video number two is the overview of the JVZoo sales dashboard. So obviously having a JVZoo account is going to be a must. Video number two, we're going to talk about planning your sales funnel. A lot of people skip ahead and they go straight to trying to set it up. If you do not plan and if you do not map out your sales funnel, which we'll talk about in video number four, then you will not be able to see ahead. So once we plan in video number three and then we map out what we planned, anytime you hit a roadblock, you're going to be able to push through as a motivational method by creating these two elements. So video number five is of course, adding products and getting those details. So we're going to talk about everything you need in terms of adding a product. And in video number six, we're going to talk about connecting your autoresponder video number seven. we're going to talk about connecting payment processors. By default, you should have a PayPal account, but it's really good if you have a Stripe account or even an authorized.net account. And we'll talk more about that in video number seven. Video number eight, we'll discuss the sales funnel setup. So now at this point, you should have all the information such as your front end offer, your one time offers, and have a good idea of how things are laid out. And of course, last but not least, we have video number nine, which is sales buttons and one-time offers. So in order to connect your front end offer to your one-time offers, you need the sales button, right? And then if somebody says no to a one-time offer, how do you redirect them? Now, before I end this video, I want to talk about the things that you need. Now, obviously you need a JVZoo account. You need a payment processor account such as PayPal or Stripe. You want to have PayPal at least, and then Stripe is additional, but I will say that without having a Stripe account, 
you will lose money if you are not offering that as an option. And then of course you want an autoresponder account such as GetResponse or AWeber. You want to have your sales pages, your download pages for your front end offers, your one time offers and all of that. You want to have a support mail or help desk URL and we'll talk more about the other things that you need. So with that said, let's move on to video number two.